Hi everyone, in this video we will discuss logistic regression and how to conduct this test using SPSS. First, we need to differentiate between multiple regression and logistic regressions. We have done multiple regression in another video. With multiple regression, we have one metric dependent variable and multiple metric independent variables. When we have a binary dependent variable, we need to use logistic regression. If we have a nominal dependent variable with more than two levels, we can use multinominal logistic regression. This is also called a classification method because we evaluate the effects of multiple independent variables on different groups of the dependent variable. This is the data set we use for this video. This is HBET data set, but the sample has been split into test sample and validation sample. I use this data set so we can compare the results with the example in the textbook. But the process is the same with any data set. In this example, we use X4 as the dependent variable. X4 is a binary variable with two groups, USA, North America, and outside North America. Since X4 is a binary dependent variable, we use the logistic regressions. Note that logistic regression does not have many strict assumptions as multiple regression because it uses a different algorithm, maximum likelihood. Normality is not required for logistic regression. This is a great advantage because it gives us a lot of flexibility with selecting the data set. In addition, linearity is also not required. This means a classification method like logistic regression can handle nonlinear relationship between the dependent and independent variables. However, note that the relationship between the odd of the dependent variable and independent variables is still linear. The logistic regression process is fairly straightforward. The difficulty is how to interpret the results. We go to analyze in the menu and select regressions. We have several options here. If the dependent variables is nominal, we need to select multinomial logistic. In this case, we have a binary variable, so we select binary logistic. The dependent variable is X4 and we move it to the dependent box. Independent variables are x6 to x18, and we add them to covariance box. The estimation method has several options. We'll, we'll use the stepwise method, but SPSA does not use the term stepwise in this test, so we'll select forward LR. LR stands for likelihood ratio. This is the forward stepwise method for logistic regression. Then we select categorical. This option allows you to add categorical independent variables in the analysis. This is a great tool that SPSS offers and not all software provides the same tool. But in this case, we do not have any categorical independent variables, so we will skip this. Then we select options. We will need to check few boxes here. First, we check classification plots. Then check Hosmer Lim show goodness of fit index, iteration history, and click continue and click OK. Let's look at the output of this analysis. The first one to examine is block zero beginning block. This is the initial step in which no variable has been entered. We need to examine negative 2 log likelihood which reflects the model fit. The smaller this value, the better the model fit. In block 0, this is the base value 80.108. The classification table will be interpreted later. This shows us the accuracy of the prediction. In variables in equation, we only see constant, 
or intercept because this is block zero and we see all variables under variables not in equation then block one shows us all steps in the forward stepwise RL method we can see how negative two log likelihood value changes at each step at step one h13 is selected and included in the equation and the negative two log likelihood is reducing indicating the improvement in the model fit in step two h17 is included in the equation and negative two log likelihood is reducing further in the final model negative two log likelihood value is 39.96 Note that the initial value is 82.108. This shows substantial improvement in the model fit. So that is the first thing we need to examine the model fit. Another model fit index that we should examine is Hosmer Lim Show test. For this good it's the fit index, we expect non-significant chi-square. We can see at step one chi-square test is significant but at step 2 chi-square test is non-significant this indicates the improvement of model fit throughout the steps in addition we need to examine r square note that r square in logistic regression is not the same as r square in multiple regression in logistic regression we have pseudo r square we have two types of pseudo r square Cox and Snell R square and Nagel Kirke R square. These values are provided by SPSS. As you can see in step 1, these R square values are 0.342 and 0.459 respectively. In step 2, when we enter H7, R square values have increased to 0.505 and 0.677. Thus, this table shows how our square changes at each step. Next, let's look at the classification table. This table shows how accurate the prediction is. At each step, the table shows the accuracy in terms of percentage correct for two groups in X4. USA, North America, the percentage correct is 73.1%. And outside North America, the percentage correct is 73.5%. The overall accuracy is 73.3%. At step 2, when we enter X7, the accuracy has increased. The accuracy for USA North America is 96.2%. And the accuracy for outside North America is 82.4%. The overall accuracy is 88.3% showing great improvement from the previous model. The next table shows variables in the equation. This table shows the logistic coefficient of beta, standard error, wall statistic, degree of freedom, significance value, and exponential logistic coefficient, or EXPB, at each step. The logistic coefficient is similar to the beta coefficient in multiple regression, which shows the regression width. But note that beta only shows the relationship between independent variables and the logit value of the binary dependent variable. See the formulas on page 326. World statistics is the test for the significance of the logistic regression which should be interpreted similarly to F-test. The significance value is also the same as with multiple regression, which shows the significance of the relationship. The EXPB, or exponential logistic regression, is anti-log of the logistic coefficient and is used to interpret the relationship between independent variables and the dependent variable if we use odd value of binary variable. The exponential coefficient minus 1 equals the percentage change in the odd. In this example, 
at the final step, step 2, significant values of both x13 and x7 are less than 0 0.05, indicating significant relationships of these variables and x4. Let's interpret the logistic coefficients. The beta values of both x7 and x13 are positive, indicating that as the values of either x13 or x7 increase, the predicted probability will increase. If we use odds, we can also come up with the same conclusion by looking at exponential coefficient, EXPB. An exponential coefficient above 1 indicates a positive relationship, and vice versa. To interpret the magnitude of the effects, we need to use exponential coefficients. As you might recall, the exponential coefficient minus 1 equals the percentage change in odds. For x13, we have 2.942 minus 1 equal to 1.942. This means an increase by one point of x13 will increase the odds by 194%. Similarly, an increase by one point of x7 will increase the odds by 6.321 minus 1 equal to 5.321 or 532%. Down here we have plus showing how prediction model changes from step 1 to step 2. For example, at step 1, we have U representing USA, North America, and O representing outside North America. We can see that at this step, the classification of U and O is not clear, and classes U and O seem to be mixed up. At step 2, we can see the prediction is more accurate, with a much clearer classification between U and O. So that is a way to visually evaluate the model, but I would prefer using the classification table as it shows us the exact accuracy percentage. That is how to conduct logistic regression analysis using SPSS. Thank you and bye now.